Hello folks, how are you? And welcome. And everything is all messed up. There's Xenia hiding in the corner. Hi, I'm here. He <laughs> uh, is hiding me here in the corner. There we go, guys. Actually, I spend most of my life here at the table in the corner. <laughs> That's right. That's oh right, my god. There you go, folks. There's a little and bit of a pity trip for you and all. And now it's only me. That's See? Right. And now it's both of us. Hello, it's Pusha <laughs> Studios. That's right. Great to have you guys all in here. Welcome, 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 folks. Oh, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I'm kind of losing my voice. I do apologize, but thankfully, we are like a relay race, and when one does, the other one's got lots to go. Oh, so. you won't have to sing a Super Zika Super Chat song, though, so that is pretty cool. That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> Happy Chocolate Day to you, the Woo! Still Winter Nation. Oh, my what God. What was that? Oh, your game's still way up from when I was bugging you there. All right, that should be better. Oh, wow. Well, this sounds much better now. That's right. Guys. Yeah. Look at that voice. Oh my God. Ooh. You don't have to sit on it. You just got to put I your mouth close to it. Look, look, I, I do have a gap. A gap. Oh, you're, you are. It's, you think it's chocolate. Yes, you got all inspired by it. Yes, it's, it's a chocolate choc day. I'm getting inspired. That's right. Chocolate microphones for all. Great to see you guys. So once again, with that, I do apologize. And we had to bring this one together quickly, guys. We got the news. We had to change our whole show around it. But you know what? It is important. It is something that affects each and every one of us. We thought Article 13 was a spur. Well, this one here is the whole ranch. So uh, we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. But if you guys can let the hit the like button, tweet out, tell friends, all that good stuff, guys. I appreciate it very much. The more, the merrier in here. We already got 70 in here, folks. Already 70, and it's only three minutes into it. This affects all YouTubers. Whether you're from Australia, New Zealand, whether you're from Austria, the same as when it was Article 13, except it will be bigger. That's the thing about it. If it does, it's a game changer because us even being based in Canada, the huge majority of our viewers are good friends to the south of the border here. And many uh, channels will say the same thing. Many, many, many. For that simple reason, guys, it affects us all. It really does. Great to have you guys in here. Urban Car Breaks, welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to have you in here. I've seen some new channels a while ago, by the way, on our intro. Sorry if we don't say hi during it. Uh, we don't use Nightbot. We're not too big onto it. So we're literally posting and kids are giving us kiss or somebody's eating supper. Or like tonight, drastically trying to read up on this as much as we can. Grab everything we need. So we can uh, put on a decent show to discuss this with you guys. We'll look at the law. We'll cover all that in a few minutes, guys. It's only four minutes into it. Like I say, we're holding it. 70, guys. 71. There we go. Let them know what's got going on, guys. Lisa, my dear. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, great to see all you guys in here. Everybody in here. We have the Creator Spotlight Show. We got Unearthly Wandered. Baking Fun with Nadia. Spider Gaming. We have What the paranormal in the house folks chris ten tiff in the house grant mcintosh is here my buddy how are you tommy bites is here kathleen elliott lovable lady uh, just all my kitties is in here jenny o'brien is here mama ray ray how are you welcome uh ghost pirate smoking joe's pit barbecue F oh my god this guy's channel makes me hungry it makes me hungry it should be outlawed patricia norwood hobbies and reborn no because it's too good of a channel but it's still very 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 tempting to watch bio life uh wiley paranormal place how are you hope you're doing fantastic sky pilot knows uh corbin connection comedy how are you like case is here the farming life there's a man who's got his channel is booming guys flying the still winter nation folks in here celebrating chocolate day that's right national chocolate day guys yep that's uh let's see here we do adiz is in the house welcome sorry guys i'm trying to catch as many people as possible infinite moise in the house tasha 101 how are you great to see you tales of the Solstice is in the house pleasure to see you jackson rc aviation we have mixed mowers we got jasmine's entertaining folks that's right another channel doing fantastic sun media how are you D and D. uh beach bandits what's going on guys hit the like button tweet out tell friends all that good stuff graceful spirit and ray great to see you great to see each and every one of you guys andy and amy's uh arizona adventures welcome 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 uh tonight we're discussing guys about the updates that's going on and uh you're not going to want to miss this this affects all youtubers guys it is great to get on here and make videos it is great but this is social media everything else guys 
you need to be aware of things going on. And we've seen what happened with uh, Article 13. And this is definitely uh, something that needs to be understood, known by all you guys. We won't cover everything tonight. You're not going to be an extra when you walk out of it. First things first is being aware of it and starting from there. That's where it all begins, guys. Uh, that's right. But uh, before we dive into that, so we don't have to repeat uh, everything over yeah. and over, uh, we will uh, do a little bit of housekeeping here. As always, uh, greeting all of you. Andrew is going to be calling out each of your names, uh, trying to pronounce them, uh, you know, each and every one of your 75 names. Uh, we're going to listen to that and judge on that too and uh, <laughs> and of course uh, if you can hit that like button and share it out we do appreciate as well as hashtag blue ridge group selfies yesterday was a ton of amazing and cute selfies and even some babies in pumpkin yeah. patches that's right hashtag blue ridge group if you want to participate in uh, the biggest selfie out there uh, there's going to be combined uh, probably at the end of the year uh, hashtag blue ridge group on twitter and post a selfie or even better selfie if you're watching us and guess what you might just end up on our selfie of the day philip cochran you're alive my friend you're alive i loved your video today great to see you have a pulse my friend i was starting to worry about you great to see you hope you're doing fantastic much much love to you Good to see you. Good to see you. Somebody asked about Friendly Troll. Hello, mm -hmm. Friendly Troll. Um, somebody asked about the slow-mo. Slow-mo doesn't is actually on, but I think so. But it doesn't apply to the ones that are in Blue Wrenches anyway, so it doesn't really slow down chat uh, that much. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wish uh, YouTube would somehow... Uh, change uh, that but uh, well it is what it is and it is actually uh, it's it's fairly slow what i would suggest uh, for you is to pop out that chat that uh, three little dots there on the left side uh, pop it out in a separate window and that way you can enlarge it and it's not going to be scrolling uh, by you so quickly uh, that's one of the ways how to do it uh, we have Trip Flick TV. Uh, hello and welcome here. If you are new here to our channel, Bob Smith, hello. Uh, don't worry, you're going to get your uh, amazing blue wrench here as well. Uh, it is a philosophy here and not a status, so don't worry. And don't uh, get uh, nervous about everybody yeah. having a wrench here. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is not a very... Um, empowering so to say and quite the opposite is quite welcoming and very positive here as well uh, and usually we get uh, here a little bit on the fun side and play games and uh, promote your channels and give you tips and all of that but sometimes we dive into these news breaking news that can affect all of us and these this is going to affect all of us, the same as uh, Article 13, and especially those of you that are in U.S., content creators of all sizes, and just Internet users in general. So even if you're not a creator, it's definitely going to be something to think about. We're going to dive into that just in a little bit of time, uh, just reminding you again to hit that like button, share it out, and subscribe to us if you're new, and of course, ring the bell so you know when we're on next. That, that ding, ding, ding sound. That ding, ding, ding sound. Yeah. There you go, folks. She's getting technical already. Don't let her yeah, lose you. Very technical. <laughs> don't, let her lose technical. don't let her lose you in the jargon, guys. That's right. Oh, that is uh, Fam Bam. How are you? Welcome, Jackie. How are your food, uh, food reviews? Our resident sweetie. Awesome to see you. Happy trails, hikings in the house, guys. How you doing, Kay? Absolutely awesome to see you. We're going to get into a minute. Just in a minute, guys. We're only like nine minutes into it already. There's still people coming in. So we don't have to repeat too many times in that. So just bear with us for a minute. This is a good time to hit the like button, tweet it out, do those selfies. Feel free to mingle with everybody, guys. You want uh, just as always, always the same thing, guys. Do it in the right way. No sub for sub, no hint of it, no smell of it, no nothing like that. Mingle away, talk to each other, feel free. Candles, how are you? Great to see you. Hyper Determination 23, welcome back. Welcome back. I felt like Mr. Cotter for a second. Angela Critters, how are you? Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Look at all these fine channels in here, guys. Is it true that you, if it goes through, yes. Yes, that is the numbers. Up. We're going to talk about that in a second. We're going to get right into it, but yep. Uh, it, if it, it's uh, going to be interesting. Like I say, guys, it's going to be interesting, and it's good that you know about it. Knowledge is power. It is very important to keep yourself abreast of all these things because as these things happen and start going through and getting past more, the responsibility, the onus falls on you to know what's going on, and it's very easy to fall into a lot of these traps without ever even realizing that you did so until it's too late. 
And with those kind of numbers, you definitely don't want to make that mistake. And also with U.S., uh, with a uh, uh, copyright uh, law that is current now and a freedom of speech, uh, it's quite easy with this new law. It's going to be quite easy to fall into uh, the trap of the new law, so to say. Uh, uh, yeah, it's so hard. In U.S., people sue each other for everything. And this is, I think, it's going to be one more thing. But maybe it's going to be protecting YouTube creators quite hard to say it's hard to say if it's going to protect us as creators or not and that's what we're going to discuss we're going to go over uh what is exactly going on how uh is it planned to be in effect and then we'll talk about what you think if it is affecting you in a positive or negative way that's right guys so let's get that discussion guys in just a minute we got a ton of great people in here and it's uh great to see you all this is real youtubers guys that really want to know more about it that's what i love about these kind of things it really brings up the people that are on here long term that really want to know where they stand to educate themselves so if a hats off to you all right off the bat a big hats off to you uh nade hunts heat uh welcome 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 how are you doing tonight hope all is well with you we also have morning glow welcome hope everybody's having a fantastic night uh time a, actually for some of you guys you're already in your day as i always forget to say down under and it's great to see you we have a lot of great people from down under guys australia new zealand and Xenia and I live vicariously through them because we wish it could be there. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I think though it's time though to say some real hellos in here. Give that rock star welcome. We always talk about guys because you truly deserve it. So let's get that on its way. Let's crank up the echo a bit. Once again, I apologize for my voice a bit. And it's interesting because yesterday I was screaming the Super Sticker Super Chat all night. And uh, yet you're the one that is losing the voice. I was, screaming, weird. I was screaming in pain. That's why. <laughs> screaming in ear pain. Okay. That's why. I want to give a great big I rock star. Practicing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give a great big uh, rock star. Welcome to Willow's Whimsy. We have Wiley's Paranormal Place. What the paranormal's in the house, folks? We have West Coast Cajun Cuisine. We got Urban Card Breaks. We got Unearthly Wanderings. True North Angler. We have Tribic Flick TV. We have Tommy Bites. We have the Wacky Wimers. The Still Winter Nation. What a great, what a great live stream. I'm going to be talking about him. We're going to be talking about legitimate live streams coming up in the near future. So get ready to hear more about them. The Farming Life is in the house. How are you? Talking about channels on the grow, man. Great to see you. Terrell's Artwork Channel, our original wrench. The very first wrench we ever had here and still with us means a world to us. Check out Terrell's Artwork Channel. We have Spider Gaming in the house, folks, and we have Sky Pilot from Down Under. We have Silver City Dude, and we have Sean the Great Gamer. Scott Slots Channel, what's going on, my friend? Hope you're doing fantastic. Running Man Studios is in the house. That's folks, right, folks. We have Ralph Trucking, folks. Honk, honk. Ralph Trucking's here. And Philip Cockram, who I was starting to worry about today. I went and watched his video. I'm like, where are you, Philip? Philip, speak to me. Speak to me, Philip. And here he arrives. Philip's been with us for a long time and does fantastic work, guys. I, I love it. You got to check out Philip Cockram. Yeah, Pandy's hair, candy, and more. We got Ole's Fam Bam. We have uh, uh, Ujo Adiz. I know I'm screwing it up again. It's been a while. <laughs> now I'm back to screwing it up. Sorry, but it's great to see you. Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and uh, Adeline. How are you? Great to see you. Nate Hunt's Heat. We have uh msg -er, messenger empath excuse me we have mr detectors mountain view turning in the house mountain view turning how you doing mom of 12 is in here folks think she's busy i think so misty lego great to see you maureen glow is here folks as well as mama ray ray we have lovable lady and we have lisa my dear and we have lisa's crochet in the house folks we have la case here King FPV folks is with us. That's right. And it just jumped again like popcorn. We have Kathleen Elliott folks. We got June Journey's Diary. We have John Ames in the house. Loved your video my friend. Jenny O'Brien folks is with us. That's right. And Jasmine's entertaining. Great to see you. Jackson RV Aviation. How you doing? We also got Izzy Fam here, folks, and Infinite Moi is in the house. And we have Hyper Determination 23. 
We got Happy Trails Hike in the house, folks. Our good friend Kay, who's been with us for, since the beginning, we started live streaming as well. A fantastic lady, a fantastic channel. We have Green Organic Love here, folks. Got my buddy Grant McIntosh sitting in the house. Women Janet, I'm assuming. I hope. A lovely lady. We have Graceful Spirit and Ray. And we got Going Studios. And we have Ghost Pirate. We have Found It Buried. Food Galore Mako and Elaine Smart 215. We got Duke Family Chronicles and Don Thomas the Time Lord. We have Dis Our Dream, folks. We have Dear Me. We have DNS Beach Bandits and Cookery and Crafts Channel. Welcome. We have Christian Ringon Pastor. Hope you're doing fantastic. We have Candles in the House. We have Blind Grilling. God, I love your channel, man. I love this guy. Blind Grilling. This guy is so inspiring. Go check out Blind Grilling, guys. New channel I just found recently. Love this guy. Bio Life, how you doing? Great to see you. Big Manas. <laughs> oh, I can't say that. <laughs> We're just going to go back to the old Big Heck, my friend. <laughs> Good to see you. The On the Veil Investigation is in the house, folks. And Better Days is here. And Ben and Bree, the couple that met here in our channel, one of two, to do so. Barrel, boy, woods in the house, folks. We also got, you ready for it? Baking fun with Nadia, that's right. Uh, Annie Polite, Paletti's physical therapist, folks. Angela Critters is here. Andy and Amy's Arizona Adventures. Uh, a morph. A morphology is in the house. Sorry, I stuttered on that one for a sec. All Mac Mechanicals here. AJC Magic TV. I know it doesn't get all the names, guys, so make sure to highlight our names and say so, say hello so we can give you a big rock star welcome as well. <laughs> no problem, big heck. I just had to stop there. I'll see a new channel here, uh, Burn in the World. How are you? Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So many great channels in here. Uh, Ryan uh, Vexel, yes, thank you so much. And got me another channel. I'm assuming you sent them. I didn't realize last night. That's also in the Domino's. I love it. I love it. Thank you so very much for that. I love Domino channels because I don't have to curse and swear to set six up, get fed up, kick them over and call it a day. They do the hard work. I get to watch. So thank you for that. Great channels in here, guys. It's such a pleasure. Uh, from Trace with Love, how you doing? Hope all is well. And all my kiddies, great to see you. Some great pile of channels in here, like Budget Bushcraft and RV Life. What's going on? Good to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. And once again, guys, if we missed anybody, just highlight our name and say hi. We'll definitely give you a rock star welcome as well. Infantry Outdoors, my friend. It's so good to see you. Much love to you. Much love to you. West Haven always in forever. How you doing? How you doing, Andrew, for governor? She still wants me to run Connecticut. I don't think I could run to the store, let alone run Connecticut. Thank you so much. Mama Ray Ray. How <laughs> Tugs, what's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. That's right, guys. Retired and prepping is in the house. How are you doing? Always a pleasure to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Camber Kiss is in the house, folks. That's right. Camber Kiss is here. Great to see you. Guys, we got a lot of great stuff to talk about here on this subject. You're not going to want to miss it. Anybody, folks, that's into YouTube, anybody that's on social media needs to see this. It really does. You really do. You really do, guys. It is that important. It is a subject that touches us all in some way or shape or form and can affect us heavily. It's not through yet, but it's well on its way, guys. It's well on its way. Uh, Babylicious TV, how are you? Great to see you. You're doing fantastic. Uh, no shadow required. Everybody's a winner here. But Brant Ariels, a.k.a. Gary, you always have such a good spirit, man. You are our ambassador for us. We really do consider you that. <laughs> The wife rock best imports from Canada. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elena. Appreciate that. Sir Lance a lot. Oh, the Lance a thought. Sir Lance a thought. Aloha to you. I am so sorry about that. I do apologize. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button, tweet it out, tell friends, all that good stuff, guys. The more the merrier. We're going to get into it in just a minute, folks. We always give a little bit at the beginning because we used to start right away and we were repeat, repeat. And people were here for a while. They would get frustrated at us. So we're just trying to keep it running smooth, folks. Running smooth. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, if you can share it out, we do appreciate that, uh, as I always say. And statistics show, on average, we all have around eight social media 
channels or uh, media accounts. Uh, so even if you share it on one, we do appreciate that. Thank you so much. We have Tassie Adventures joining us from Tasmania. <laughs> we have a channel that follows us from Tasmania. That's like Xenia and I, one of our greatest claims on YouTube. <laughs> yes, the bucket list of being a YouTube creator. Yes, I think that's it is. Right. Cookery and craft channels, hello and welcome here. Flower Glamorous, hello and welcome here as well, dear me. Uh, thank you so much for hitting that like button and welcome to our channel as well. If you are new, uh, please uh, check us out and if you like what you see and you find it useful for you as a creator, please hit that subscribe button. We do appreciate that. Drew's Food Reviews uh, is here and Resorian Buck hey. is here, our long time friend. Uh, you know, you always remember those that you started YouTube with. Resorian Buck is one of them. Most thank you so much. Past guest of ours. And and tour build, I can almost read your profile picture, so that's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Tags is here. The time in England went one hour back, uh, so Europe uh, had already changed their uh, time to their winter time. Uh, we are, I think, changing it only in November. So now, are we more hours apart or less hours? I don't know. I think less for a little bit. Less for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so an hour earlier, we're going to be in your house if you're in Europe. Please confirm that for me. We're in Mont we're e Montreal is on Eastern t uh, time zone, so somebody can confirm that for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. Infantry Adore says, Push Studios commented on my latest video today, and it really made my day. Aww. It made our, my day to watch it, so have no shame. Okay. And of course, if yeah, you no. are uh, easy fam, uh, says if you are in California, stay safe. Yes, that's right. Please stay safe uh, from the fire that is going on there. Thinking about you that are up there, stay safe, please, and your loved ones as well. Uh, we have Arizona Timeless Tourist, no time change in the great state of Arizona. Uh, yes, it's over in Europe uh, just uh, now. They have changed their time. Uh, and we in Canada, we're going to be changing it in November. Live with Uncle Ozzy Spanelitis is here. Hello, mm. how are you? Great to see you, great to see you. Uh, Ralph Strucking, time change after my birthday, November 3rd. Yes, that's right. Uh, we have it in November. That's so weird. In Australia, they had it like two weeks ago, I think. And now it's in Europe, and then it's in, like, why Why such a confusion? Yeah, see, it went back, because it's 11.23, it would be 12.23 before, so yeah, I was just and making sure I was right, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Trip Flick TV says, uh, Push Studios needs to get two PewDiePie chairs. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> we actually have very special chairs here. These are white swivel chairs. <laughs> white leather swivel chairs. That's with, right. And we, uh, how is it, Kelly? And whatever the guy, the old guy that was on the oh, TV so show. Oh, seriously! No, I'm not even giving you the name. No way. Well, the Kelly uh, show. The Kelly show. There the you Kelly go. The Kelly show. Yeah, you guys know you what I'm talking about. We can swivel here. And in one of the, and I'm not going to do it now, but in one of the live streams, I even fiddled with Andrew's uh, chair height up and down. And why are we never doing that again? Because we only do it once. And then. <laughs> We were well warned, weren't we? We were well warned, yeah. There you go, guys. There's a full view of the chair right there. So yeah. There you go. We we evolved from couch to two chairs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So we're kind of all we're missing is like me to have a plaid suit on, you to wear a mini skirt, one piece, and yeah, it just yeah. has a silver silver looking. Um, how is it called there? Legs. Legs. Yeah. Yeah. Legs. Legs. And a big <laughs> ass glass gold ashtray that's what we were missing it looked like the 70s and that so you say you were uh, on the set with burt reynolds i will I... get you one for christmas how about that please don't <laughs> please don't. i have to think about something else okay. yeah that's right i just screwed up your whole christmas gift options <laughs> to that one big bear cubs what's going on are they going bear cubs what is going on my friend good to see you good to see you hope you're doing fantastic lots of great people in here guys we're gonna get to it in about f I don't know, three, four minutes, guys. I'm just giving a little bit of time in. In the meantime, hit the like button, tweet it out, tell friends, all that good stuff, guys. Lots of great information for everybody. Even if you're just a viewer, it still matters. I'm sure you're on one of the social medias. I'm sure you're sharing something on here. And if you are, you're, you're, I gotta be knowledgeable of this as well. So most definitely, and don't forget about your selfies as well. A selfie of you watching us, you can't do that. A selfie of you, upload to Twitter, just make sure you use the hashtag. Blue Wrench Group, so us and everybody can find you. That's right, guys. 
It is great to have you all in here. Hope you guys are enjoying each other's company. Like I say, guys, as always, feel free to mingle stuff. Just do it the right way. There's 200 characters and a keyboard. Use them up. Talk to each other. That's what it's about. The winning side where the cool people hang out. Hey, Farmall and, and boom! Farmall's in the house, guys. Farmall is in the house. Good to see you. Man, your videos are killing it. The auction's killing it. It's killing it, man. You're, you're doing it. You're doing it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Uh, you know, I. that's what real YouTubers do. They admit when they learn something. And you know, we were talking, I said, you know, things are taking off. And he said something that just stuck with me. I started listening to what the viewers wanted to see. Boom! There's oh. the answer. There's the answer right before your very eyes. Fantastic job, my friend. Fantastic job. So many great people in here. Guys, do you use OBS stream to our build? Certainly do, certainly do. Uh, we're using OBS and then uh, uh, when we do interviews, we pipe in Zoom, but we don't use it independently. I can't do a selfie, I have a face for radio. Nah, Gary, we've seen your selfies. They always look fantastic. They always look fantastic. Oh, maybe we could get Philip Cochran to do a selfie. Would he? That would Could be interesting. He? Possibly. Not giving him no pressure, nothing like that. And Farmall would be good to get a look at him. That's right. I, I, Farmall's a good looking man, guys. You know that. He, he's, uh, that's what half his success on YouTube. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> Putting them all on the spot tonight to put up selfies. That's right, guys. Great to see all you fantastic people in here. Frank Miller, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying yourself here tonight with everybody. We're about to get into it, guys, in just a second. Like I say, just give us another minute or two and we're good to go. And we're going to get this topic on the road. As you can see, you take time to give people to come in. And then we're not repeating as much. And then that's easier for everybody. Little little Jazz Jazz, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing? Unfortunately, DR Snipers, although what you wrote was very uh, intelligible and nice, uh, we have... Uh, a widespread policy of no self-promotion just because there is always some people that uh, abuse the system uh, we will try to figure out somehow you can do it uh, uh, so it's not nothing against you we just try to be fair to everyone and not allow it at all <laughs> For <all> my face. <laughs> have you done any tutorials on how to use obs no because there's plenty of them yeah. out there there's no point of repeating something that other people already have done i've watched too many people go do stuff in here that don't know what the hell they're talking about i'm not an expert in obs i can use it for my own purposes i understand the basis if somebody has a question once in a while i can help but i don't dive into it i don't consider myself some master and I, like I said, I've just seen too many jackasses grab stuff, run, and then say half it wrong. There's a lot better places on YouTube to get really good walkthroughs. Actually, I have one. I got to try and find it. I have it saved somewhere in my bookmarks. This guy does a fantastic job from beginning to end. And uh, I'll try and find the link and share it on the next stream. So, what's OBS? <laughs> Still Winter Nation. So, my God, one of the this guy here in his show is fantastic. He is using good, uh, making good use of it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So guys, don't forget, hey, don't expose me, Andrew, LOL. I have to a little bit. I have to a little bit. I feel a thank you before we get going to everything. Hang on one second, folks. I just got to take a to moment here. Up. There we go. That's just us talking, just us yapping. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm ready to sing at any time right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. After, after our time. faux pas last week. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear I used to? I heard pa. it. I, I heard it. It, yeah. it was something. There you go, guys. I got a big shout out to Big Island Bear Cubs, guys, for sending us some uh, amazing food all the way, folks, all the way from Hawaii. And those macadamia nuts <laughs> covered in chocolate, especially the ones in the unidentified packs. Oh, my <laughs> dear God. And I said it that way for fun because I had such a great time with it. Man, oh, man, oh, man, were they ever fantastic. I swear to God, I think my heart stopped for a couple of seconds in between bites. Thank you so much to take the time once again, you crazy son of a you know what, to go and send that stuff all the way from Hawaii. Second time around on top of that. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts, buddy. Tons of love to you. Well, yeah, this Stacking was the third trooper. package and second second package of uh, yes. candy. So. You're, you're too kind. You're too kind. 
Usually, I'm the one that's got to pay for Christmas. This is the only time here I really feel like yeah. this is when we get a care package from Paulie. I love you to pieces, Big <laughs> yeah. Bear. Thank mm-hmm. you so, so much, guys. Check him out. And I try to say Big Bear, but I just, you're always going to be Paulie to us. I hope you can bear with it. So, anytime you hear Paulie, guys, we're talking about Big Island Bear Cubs. So, if you like eating shows, we are eating candies on live from Hawaii. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Stacky Stormtrooper, I thought my video just froze there. LOL. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's me chewing. <laughs> it was the best uh, oh, best moment Andrew could just chime in into that live stream so that's right that's right alrighty guys I'm gonna put it out there hit the like button tweet it out 12 friends all that good guys guys that hitting the like button especially I'm gonna pause for a second we're gonna pause we're gonna take off the music there you go I'm gonna ask everybody we're gonna take a moment of silence if you've not hit the like button please do that gray thumb just smash the hell out of it show us Make the ground shake. I want to feel it from here. I want to feel you hitting it, guys. Anybody who has a hit it, hit it. It really helps. And there goes my wife and again. And we can feel you guys pushing and smashing that like button. This is a lot of fun. Not annoying at all. Not annoying in the least. Well, Absolutely loving says. it. That's right. You made it happen. You the guy. Oh, Stacking Stormtrooper <laughs> says I will be sending you something again. Stacking Stormtrooper sent us yes. personalized uh, Stacking Stormtrooper cards and stickers. And oh my God, our kids were so excited about those too. Mm-hmm. Uh, so mm-hmm. uh, you guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. And for the card was absolutely absolutely fantastic i mean really what you said uh believe you me it means the world to us 10 times over Alrighty, guys like i said if you haven't hit the like button please do let's get into this checkup i think your wife needs another vacation let's take a cruise down to hawaii the farming wife says yes please do (laughs) <laughs> let, let's yeah, let's go to play. Hawaii and visit Big Island Bears Cubs. So that, that would be such a great vacation. Oh my God! Yeah, uh, you are feeling earthquakes from late, me dancing. Sorry, LOL. He says Big Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Frank Miller, hello. Oh, he says this will put those to shame. There you go. There you go. There you go. Swords have drawn. Andrew, uh, at least it's not uh, super secret, uh, super secret, super chat. Just kidding. That was great the other day. Oh, it was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. Frank Miller is in Canada. And yes, we have already not only Halloween, but Christmas songs playing in our stores already. That's wow. right. Well, and that reminds me of my favorite question that I don't know what oh, happened. I go. forgot to ask. Where are you from? We are in Montreal, Canada right now, sitting right here in these comfy chairs. Where are you from? Let us know. The state, the country, the town. Where are you from? We're just curious. We want to know which part of the world are you joining us from. And before I go over the extensive list of all the corners of the world, although I really think it's round, although who knows? Who knows? It's Super 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 Chat! Super 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 Chat! Super 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 Chat from Stacking Star Proper! Thank you so much! And Super 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 Chat! Super 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 Chat! Ben Cobra! Hey you! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you. And we have Gail Skills in the house. We have Texas, Corpus Christi, uh, and uh, Dustin, Florida. We have Laurel, Delaware, uh, Texas, and Maryland, California. And we have Ohio, Missouri, North Texas, Ontario, Canada, Rockford, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, and Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, there you go. <laughs> Los Angeles, uh, Singapore, and we have Florida, and we have California. Stay safe there. Miami, Florida, there as well. Maryland, uh, United States, Athens, uh, GA, jo- Georgia? GA is Georgia, yeah. Georgia, there you go. Uh, I'm learning too as we go. And uh, West Texas, uh, Running Man Studios is there. And uh, Stacky Storm Rupert says, Andrew, just fire the foghorn full blast. <laughs> well, 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 that's not the time. We're not spinning the wheel. San Jose, California, Australia joining us here as well. West Texas, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, Buffalo, New York. Uh, good to see you here as well, Ontario, UK. Hello, hello, everybody joining us from all over the seas and oceans and all sides of the earth. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. That is so cool, so cool. From Australia to North America, all around. That's right, guys. That's right. I'm just handing out a couple of new wrenches in here and joining a couple of channels that I haven't had a chance to check out yet that's in here tonight. And I will look at them after the live stream's over. It is great to have you all in here, folks. And I don't think there's any time like the present, guys. I think we're going to get right down to it. Hey, Gil Skills in the house. How you doing, Gil? 
Good to see you. Good to see you. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic one and great to have you in here. Great to have all you guys in here. So many fantastic channels, guys. And I think it's time we get down to business. So I wrote up just a tiny kind of, uh, like Xenia and I should say, excuse me, because uh, she jumped on the ball on this one really fast today. I give her credit. Well, I actually wanted to say a huge thank you to uh, Kit Callie, the early kitten you might, some of you might know, who actually alerted uh, us about this issue. Uh, so big thank you to the early kitten about uh, getting our attention to this issue and therefore passing the information to you as well. Thank you so much. And I just want to say hello to Ketchup and Pie ASMR. Always great to see. Hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, we shall, we shall, Stocking Stormtrooper. You don't have to do it, but thank you so much. And you have a fantastic night. Be well. Wildly Intrepid Sailing's in the house. Love your video on the thumbnail. And the AI looks at all the detail. Thank you so very much. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Wasn't that incredible? We're going to have to push that again some of the night because that was mind-blowing. You even seen the shock in our faces with that thin writing in the background. We didn't even notice. I'll put the link in the chat if you don't know about how Google actually detects everything, what you're doing with your thumbnails and how you can use it in your advantage. Link in the chat. Very awesome. Sunset Travels, how are you? Great to see you. It's so it's such a pleasure to have you here. Alrighty, guys. We're going to jump into it now, folks. I know everybody's waited long enough. Let's do it, folks. So tonight... Article 13, on its way to the U.S., possible 30K fines. Remember, guys, what we're going to talk about here is the same as when it was Article 13. Remember, we're talking about also with your viewers and that, and it's just, it applies to us all. And most of us, including us, even here based in Canada, a huge majority of our viewers are U.S. bound. That is for sure. And... Uh, we want to bring this to your attention, so let's get right into it, guys. Here's a synopsis, and then we'll discuss it some more. The Copyright Alternative is a Small Claims Enforcement Act on the Case Act... Oh, that, that, sorry, I'm just going to bring this over so I can read it better. There we go. Thank you. Sorry about that. The Copyright Alternative, Alternative in Small Claims Enforcement Act, or the Case Act for short, was approved by 416-6 vote. That's 410 to say... It currently awaits a vote on the Senate floor. If the measure were to become law, the Copyright Office would hold a tribunal of copyright claim officers who would work with parties involved in a lawsuit to resolve infringement claims. Basically, creating a small claims court, a board where online content creators can go after their infringers. The board could decide that the subjects of those claims owe up to $30,000 US for activities as common, now I hope everybody's listening here, for activities as common as uploaded, downloaded, or shared memes, images, and videos online, and even the actual harm from that copying, even if the actual harm from copying that is nil. I was outlined in the bill Damages would be capped at $15,000 for each infringement and work out to at least at $30,000 at the top. So that's the caps onto them. So $15,000 per infringement up to $30,000 US in total. The limits imposed by the CASE Act of $15,000 per work are far higher than the damage caps in most state small claims courts and they don't require any proof of harm or illicit proof today. Oh, sorry. Today, someone who is going to sue a person for copyright infringement has to register their work with the Copyright Office before the infringement began or within three months of first publication in order to be entitled to statutory damages. Without a timely registration, Violating someone's copyright would only put an infringer on the hook for what the violation actually costs the copyright holder, called actual damages, or the infringer's profits. Timely registration requirement will no longer be a requirement for no proof statutory damages. So there you go, guys. There's kind of the nut and bolts of it all right now. I guess I, I put a little side note down here, sorry. Internet advocacy and civil rights groups like the uh, Electronic Fr uh, Frontier Foundation, the EEF, and the American Civil Liberties Union have warned that a system like the one proposed by the CASE Act could cost the average internet user thousands for simply sharing 
a meme or lead to encroachments on their First Amendment rights. That's a lot to take in. That's a lot to take in. But at the same time, too, I think already from hearing that, you get an idea where this is going and why this is so tricky. You're hearing terms like memes and stuff like that. This is not your ordinary cutting a picture out of a magazine and showing it. We're not talking about uh, playing Metallica on Napster. Um, this is the, where you can really fall into the gray mucky area without ever even realizing it. And this goes way past YouTube. This goes to anything on social medias, guys. Anything that is tra transferred electronically through the internet to public to public. So uh, a lot to cover. Xenia, do you want to talk a little bit? Yeah, the, actually, ACT has uh, started its way uh, into the law uh, at the beginning of the year. And um, unfortunately, it... <laughs> It hasn't been uh, ha having too much media coverage up yep. until uh, now. Uh, it uh, was introduced in the House, and uh, then it just literally, just less than a week ago, it was passed uh, in the House. Uh, and all it needs now is a Senate vote and uh, President approval, and then it becomes a law. Uh, the difference, uh, the huge difference is uh, that before uh, in the small claims court, you actually had to prove, uh, you know, uh, that it was copyrighted, what are the damages and what are potential damages. Now, with this new uh, board or new court for the copyright, you actually don't have to prove uh, anything, <laughs> uh, basically, uh, which is a really questionable format. And um, uh, there have been different uh, numbers floating around, but as per the actual law, and I have been putting the link in the chat for the actual law, the original full document that you can read through. Uh, as Andrew said, it's $15,000 per infringement per case and uh, with a cap of $30,000 uh, per one inquiry. Uh, which is crazy uh, because uh, it it applies not only for shares but also for uploads and downloads. So uploads, downloads, shares of anything, as memes, um, uh, gifs, videos, basically any kind of content that gets shared, uploaded, or downloaded uh, can be claimed as copyright infringement in this new court if the law passes. And uh, the question is, uh, how is a regular citizen going to be able to pay it? Because it is not a court against the institution, it is a court against the person, so person to person. <coughs> and the bigger question though, how does it work with uh, First Amendment's right uh, in U.S.? Uh, because that is a big, huge question, I think, that uh, a lot of U.S. citizens will uh, be asking themselves. Well, that's also the form, and I was thinking about this later on, was the part about, I'm trying to think of a way to explain it. Think of like, you know, how we've been having problems here with people. Uh, you, you say you download a song from Ben's music dot, bensoundmusic.com, and somebody puts a false claim onto it and everything. Mm -hmm. The problem with this one is, what if somebody starts actually seeding memes only to go back after users after? Yeah and starts the thread of making them people feel that they're free to be used with the whole intention of six months later going after then a bunch of people that have used them and hitting them up with the kind of strikes it, it it's almost like it's it's almost lawless because at first i mean even us i mean as video and photographer it's a very important for copyright protection uh intellectual property we're not arguing that whatsoever the problem is is how absolutely Blaze, blazingly gray this all is that you almost can't even take a chance I've been copyright claimed for my own music through uh, uh, CD uh, CD baby had to prove to YouTube I wasn't me exactly the still wonder nation uh, we've had a guest on here a public musician uh, a public musician he's been uh, taken down many times on his channel and had to fight tooth and nail to show it's actually him it happens all the time. The famous case with John Fogarty, where he left Clayton's Clearwater Revival only to get sued then by his ex record company for sounding too much like himself. Copyright claim, especially in a no, we're not paying. I mean, our biggest audience in the US, I love you. But it is the land of litigation. And that's how. The, so, what happens when you open up these kind of floodgates? And I've seen somebody make a comment at the beginning, you know, like, oh, we don't need that fascist European stuff here. 
The thing is, in the States, there's a lot more to thrive of. A lot more content is created here. So it's on territorial soil. It's a lot easier to go after people and stuff like that. It, there's all kinds of avenues that will open up in this one that they actually didn't have to deal with so much in the state, in, in Europe. Uh, detrimental times about uh, 10 million. <laughs> yeah, well, it's true, yeah. It was kind of true with John Ford. Yes, he did kind of sound a lot like himself, for sure. Oh, my God almighty. So, yeah, I mean, this is the thing. It, it, all of us all the time are on a borrowed process in here. And, I mean, we're always going through, you know, uh, Google and searching through image. What kind of a trap can we get set up for that somebody even sets up a frivolous site, you know, the, the purpose of putting their own stuff up there claiming it's free, but then having it on an actual site where you got to pay for it. <coughs> Pardon me. Only to bait the hook for users to go and download stuff thinking they're doing it properly. And then six months later, eight months later, whatever, get a notification that they're in violation of copyright form and, and have to uh, 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 turn up in this court of, uh, of uh, copyright. It, it's a disaster, you know. You know, it really is. It, it is a horrible, horrible, disastrous mess. For example, Kevin the Fam is here, and mm. he says he have been uh, having a copyright strike over his son's Matthew's yeah. music, uh, who has passed away, and uh, Kevin is sh sharing his music on his channel, mm. and uh, he has uh, had strikes for that, which is ridiculous. Like, who at the end is owning the rights to to the song? You know, that's the question. I do have some questions here in the chat that I'm copying over, so don't worry. We will get to your questions, guys, as well. This is just something to chew up on, so to say, mm -hmm. and, and, and figure out what is going on exactly. It is not a law yet, as uh, we said. It has to still go through Senate and presidential stamp of approval, but uh, it has gone through House, uh, so one step closer. Uh, hypothetically, you could just grow uh, whatever and file copyright charges, even if it's not yours, and make a bank. Well, uh, and not quite that. I mean, you can't just grab anything and claim it's uh, yours. You, you still have to, like, who first posted kind of thing, uh, addition. Uh, and I will answer that question together with BioLife, who said, uh, well, the property has to be registered first. No, it doesn't, and that's the difference here. Uh, before and now, what is in the law that uh, the work has to be actually uh, registered in a copyright office uh, for at least three months before the first publication uh, to be entitled to any statutory damages. Now, with this new law, you won't have to have it registered. Uh, just the actual post of it uh, will make it as a registry, basically, and you will be able to claim statutory damages uh, just with that, without it being pre-registered in a copyright um, uh, office. Uh, so that's a huge change in that, and, and that's the biggest uh, part that the advocacy groups that are against this law, or at least the version of this law that as it is now, are claiming uh, against that it is too gray. It, it is too much of this, you know, who created it first or who posted it first. Well, how you, you know, like the whole point of proving it. Now, it, you don't have to go through this new uh, board or this new court if, if it comes into place. It's just it will be offered as an option uh, for people to solve it out. But we obviously we all know, know how it's all going to be solved out, right? If you do think that you have a copyright uh, infringement, you, obviously you want to have your damages covered. Uh, so that is going to be something to claim on. Now, we are looking at it as the creators now, mostly in the chat I see, but uh, how about from the other side? Now, think about if uh, some of your videos are being used without your permission, because copyright, uh, you, copyright infringement is not using something and saying, well, I'm not the author, somebody else is. You're still infring infringing their copyright. You only can use the copyright materials with extensive, explicit agreement from the creator from the author and as a side note guys we've seen in videos from time to time under article one sentence blah 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 i'm just sharing this and it frees me there's none of that works none of that matters on youtube i cannot stress that enough we said it time and time again it's a good time to mention it none of that stuff your disclaimers that you don't own it uh quoting law article code it doesn't help one iota youtube doesn't give two shits about it i'm sorry to say it but that's the honest to god's truth it does not protect you in any shape or form whatsoever like xenia said the only way you're protected you have explicit written consent from the copyright holder 
And even sometimes guys, somebody sings a song, just, I mean, not of us have a ton of contact with the type of, but even if you just have like a band and they say, yeah, sure, no problem, here you go, you can use it. Bands don't always own, own the, 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 the rights to their songs. That many times over like that. A lot of the popular music you listen on to here, especially from back when, is not owned by the artists. A lot of it is owned by companies, conglomerates, that buy hundreds of thousands of catalogs at a time. That means they just buy tons of music. And it could be one album is okay to share, the other one's not. And that. Copyright music is always a nightmare. Everything is a nightmare with copyright. Avoid copyright at all cost, at any time. Because I've always brought up this example. Say you have a band, I don't know, uh, Brian Adams. I'm just picking something in my head. Brian Adams, Summer 69. Oh, I'm allowed to use it. It says I'm okay, allowed to use it. I just got to give him the profits. I don't care. I'm not in for the money, blah, 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 blah. What happens if that video takes off and it's got like, you know, four and a half, five million views? What if that's the video makes it? Well, they're getting all the money. Still, you have to go buy it if you want to use it. But my argument's always been, what happens if Brian Adams did own the rights to that music and times get tough and this happens all the time and he sells off part of his catalog. I'm selling five of my 21 albums. And the next ones that buy it decide, no, we don't want it on YouTube whatsoever. And that happens all the time. And then one morning you wake up and bam, you've got yourself a copyright strike and you don't know why you're scratching your head and you're saying, oh my God, I was allowed to use it back then. That's because those laws can vary. They're not written in stone. They're only shareable as long as the owner of the material considers them shareable. And they do sell all the time. There's actually big money in switching music back and forth. So just, I've always said that. Uh, uh, you've seen a lot of us by now. You've seen our Cheers video we did where we reenacted. Well, that was a little bit different, but we still took a chance. But the way we looked at it was, or I, I, myself at the time, I was really looking at it. Okay, this is not owned by a musician. So it's owned by the, the NBC or whoever at the time. Most likely, they're never going to sell that catalog. That's, they very rarely ever have to. Now, you know, stranger things have happened, but I don't see somebody buying theme songs to TV shows. So we kind of put our chips on that one that it should be okay, shouldn't have any problem. But it's still not guaranteed. We still took a chance by using it. So just want you guys to really be aware of that. Avoid copyright music. Avoid copyright images. Avoid copyright wording, uh, video, all of it. At all costs, guys. It is not worth it. You can end up losing so much. And if this law comes into effect, and it's already passed through the, 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 the first round, it, it, it could really land you in a lot of hot water that you do not want to be into. And you innocently fell into at the time. We've almost become used to a culture, and I mean, eventually down the road, the, including myself in this group, the dinosaurs will pass away, and copyright's going to take on a whole new form of looking at things, because it can't last the way it is. We become too far, too big of a global society, too much of a sharing society. It is having trouble, but for the time being, that's the way things are done. And this is another step forward towards clamping down on something that's been quite the Wild West up until this point. And we do, are not against uh, protecting creators, guys. Like I said, Xenia and I do video and photography. And our intellectual property is our intellectual property. And we do hold it very uh, scary. I, I, here's a really great example. When I had my sign business, we have this small little store. I was fixing their sign. Not downtown, off the bit, this place called Cote St. Luke. Little store, you know, kind of thing. Two chairs and the windows and that. A little nice place, but nothing over the top. Well, they hired a graphic designer, and the graphic designer put up this amazing photo in the window. A great, you know, the nice vinyl ones that cover the whole window? Spectacular. Well, somebody from Sweden was visiting, and this girl from Sweden happened to walk by this store and did a double take, because she knew this girl. This girl that was up in the window was a musician, not a high-ranking musician, but a musician nonetheless. And this was one of her press photos. And this one that made the window went and grabbed stuff without checking it through fully. Ended up using this photo. The girl took a picture of the store uh, through social media, got it over to this musician. The musician got in contact. And in the end, the one who created the window display, they had to take it down. And she had to pay the girl that was in the picture $2,600 in settlement charges, which is bad. And that's how quickly you fall into it. But if she had been in the States and this law goes through, 
It could be a lot more because the 2600 was a punitive damages based on what was used for how long it was up. This opens the floodgates, and then she's looking up to $15,000 US for that one. So, you know, uh, we're talking digitally, but I'm just trying to bring it into touch. Like, I mean, the same as it was digitally, but this exact same thing, so. Uh, now, and thank you, American uh, Patriot. Uh, the government tracker for the bills does say that uh, there is about 20% uh, chance of the bill to be passed as is in the, se uh, in the Senate, uh, if it would pass now. Uh, as we all know, it usually has uh, some changes and slight uh, differences and nuances before it actually goes into the vote. Uh, so we'll have to keep a track on that. But as of now, it, it claims uh, around 20% chance of being uh, a pass through the Senate as is. Um, uh, once again, uh, the link was circling around of the full uh, report of the full bill uh, that they are presenting uh, into the Senate as of now um, in the chat. And I will also include it after in the description of the video as well. So you can go through it yourself as well. Candice Shell Corner. Hello. How are you? David Bill Vlogs is here. It's Zoli. Uh, hello. And yes, for those of you that are joining in, we're not talking about Article 13. We're talking about how it actually spreads into the rest of the world. It started with Europe. And although uh, there is a slight difference of uh, Europe targeting not only individual creators or individual internet users, but also corporations as YouTube itself, uh, it also has spread uh, to Australia where they have passed their own law with uh, regards to internet use but also uh, in the U.S. right now, and that's what we're talking about. Uh, it's uh, uh, Article 2426, uh, which is called CASE uh, in uh, big letters, and if you want to share it out uh, or check it out, I'll definitely include the link in the description and in the chat as well. Uh, we have some questions here from you guys in the chat as well, so let's uh, get to them as well. Uh, we have a question from Dr. Sniper Z. Uh, who said, so this is the end of the review channels, gaming channels, and boxing channels. If this passes, those things are trademarked and copyrighted. Uh, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it as epically as the end, but it, it definitely raises the question of uh, what you can and what you can't use. And, and the, the permission thing is the one that is going to be a very, very highly rated because the only way how you will know if you are not, let's say, uh, possibly get... Um, uh, sued in this new court system uh, for the copyright with the new law is by getting the explicit um, agreement, uh, hopefully in writing, uh, from the person whose footage or whatever it is you're using, you're using. Mm. Yeah, so that's, that's one of the things. Uh, Infinite Ma said as well, does this count for channels that review other channels at random? Do we need to get permission first? Like in a live stream, for example, got the good one type lives. Well, uh, you see, for now, it always was about f fair use that YouTube doesn't really define, but uh, also about uh, how much actually you transform it. <coughs> and if you transform three quarters of your content is transformed, you, you know, you, you have like, that creative transformation. Uh, then you can use certain types of things in, in your uh, content. Now, if you directly are using a, a live stream, a thumbnail, uh, a logo, especially if it's a logo, uh, then it's something you need to have a permission for. I just want to start for I just to uh, say thank you to BNO Doors, a BNO raid. Thank you so much, my friend. Do appreciate it. Hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you so much for the oh, read. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, buddy. Much love to you, Chris. Hope you're doing fantastic. Tons of love to you. That guy is killing it, guys. His videos are just starting to take off like wildfire. Keep up the fantastic work. Thank you so very much for thank that. Thank you. We also have a fantastic joining us and Andrea Shenanigan. So uh, welcome here. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the new law uh, just passed through the house in uh, U.S. Scare, uh, Carolina Sky Astronomer, everything in my videos, uh, my own work through my telescope, so I don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's one thing about it, guys. The more it's your own work and you know it's your own work, the more protected you are from uh, problems. Irish Wanderer, how are you? Great to see you. Uh, please highlight our name if we missed you guys. If you just came in, it's a pleasure to have you all in here. I hope you're doing fantastic. Irish Wanderer, I just met the other day. It's a pleasure to have you in. And now you have you personally, I love your country. I had such a great time touring it. Can't wait to go back, like I was telling you. Uh, Rena Sanders in the house. Uh, Andrea Shenanigans, how are you? Great to see you. Sterling Silver, 
Moods to Relaxation Sounds uh, to Heal. Frank Miller, it's, uh, oh my God, they're coming in like crazy, guys. It's all about time now. Candy Shelley's Corner, we have Carolina Sky Astronomy, Willow Whimsy. Uh, Carrie O'Neill, welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to have you in here. Hope you're doing fantastic. We have uh, Wilder Scotland as well. Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. What a great group of channels, guys, once again. Uh, Patrick Jane, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, Art Code Drone Solutions, MJ Unboxing and Scratcher. Uh, Corbin Connection Comedy says, great topic. Thank you so much, guys. We had to scrap our show that we were doing tonight and jump into this, but we really wanted to get it out to you guys. If we trademark Infinite Moi and you say our name live without us saying, okay, shady. The law is too great, Infinite Moi says. Well, let's just say this. Uh, hey there, no man, I'm broken. Great to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing fantastic. Guys, the web is, uh, it's YouTube and all that, let's call it what it is, has still been a lot of the Wild West. And we all knew things were changing. We all knew things were going to... There's, there's too much money to be made in litigation to just walk away from it. And I know we all want to do the whole, uh, oh, it's like Woodstock, just want to be me, and I just want to express myself and all that stuff. It sounds great on paper, but as long as there's going to be lawyers around and stuff like that, guys, there's going to be these kind of issues. So that's the scariest part of all this is, and once again, I'm not being our greatest, our huge majority of our audience is U.S. based and we adore you guys but there is a lot of litigation it is the land of litigation that part and that's the scary part about the way this one will really work there is how much business will be garnered from it just for the sake of keeping the fights going in the courts there is money to be made on all sides on this now heavily and we're taking out a lot of the re-registering that what it is is giving a lot of people that couldn't afford to do all that that wouldn't be able to make all this mess now will be able to it's going to be gray, guys, if it goes through. It is definitely going to be gray. So, Patrick Jane, hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Sterling Silver as well. A little Jazz Jazz is still in the house, guys. Great to see you. And uh, we have All A's Fam Bam joining us as well. A little Jazz Jazz is just uh, over 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern. Drive Shaft Drew, I enjoyed seeing you guys all together. I've seen all of the videos from everybody in Winnipeg. That was absolutely awesome, my friend. So glad that you guys could all meet up. Once again, a big thank you to BNO Outdoors for the raid. Thank you so much, my friend. Hope you're doing fantastic. In America, lawyers are number engineers, Brent Ariels is saying. Uh, oh, by the way, John Isabella, I want to say hi to you a while ago. Sorry, I missed you. And if there's anybody else, guys, that we'd love to, please say hi. Uh, U.S. live streamers going to have to think outside the box, inside the homemade box. Yes, that's a good That's a good quote, actually, Ian. That's a really good quote. That's true. It is. You know what? In the end, if we want to be on here, we're always going to keep ourselves educated, and we're either going to get fed up of it and leave, or we're going to find a way to work with it. Because really, in the end, there's no other option than that. There's no other option. It always comes down to two. Same as when a big change comes in YouTube, you know, and we're, we have a right to complain. We have a right to complain, but in the end, then we blow it up, we hit the table and yell at the monitor and do all that stuff or go into a live stream and, and blow a gasket or make a video. And then after that comes uh, time to talk and see where we go. We did. Oh, hey, Scott Thatcher. Yes, we just hit 10,700. Thank you so much for telling us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do appreciate it. Thank you very much to all you guys for everything you do for us, folks. A year and a half ago, 42 subscribers, and thanks to all you. Numbers aren't everything, but they are something. Uh, ATGH Travels, Andy, how are you? Great to see you. Andrews and I, there's one of those channels that got us started, guys. Another one of them right off uh, the get-go, back when those four or five in the chat. Back then, thank you so much. To oh, yes. Today is my one year on YouTube. Thank you, Pooch Studios, for being a huge part of my success and always taking time for me. Much love. Guys, BNO Outdoors is absolutely fantastic. I think the world of Chris. His videos are just killing it, guys. And it's his one year anniversary today. So if you don't have BNO Outdoors, I'm just pausing for this message, guys. Head on over, check out BNO Outdoors. He is getting close to 6K. His videos are doing fantastic. Huge congratulations to you, Chris, and keep up the great work. Keep up the Guys, fantastic. let's blow some balloons and congratulations yes. to BNO on the one year anniversary on YouTube. And thank you so much for all the well wishes here for us, too. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for the shout out video. That is awesome of you. Wow. 
I do appreciate it. That is so kind of you. And yes, Scott, thank you for letting us know. We didn't even realize. So thank you so much for telling us. Thank you. Uh, we do still have some questions from the chat as well with sure. regards to the law that we just uh, talked about. Uh, sure. Patches and uh, potholes. Uh, does, some, that, does that mean we will have to go through old posts and delete memes that we used in the past? Or is it only things posted after the bill passes? They're not sure yet. The bill. Uh, Take care, Sterling Silver. Thank you for coming. Much love. Yeah, uh, I, I, we don't know if it is retroactive. Uh, we don't know. Uh, I would I would guess that it's not because that would be a nightmare. <laughs> but uh, we don't know. Uh, and that's probably going to be um, detailed more as the law passes through the Senate, if it does. I have a feeling if something passes, they'll probably get a time, a bit of grace time for people to deal with it. Yes. And then it's going to go retroactive across the board. So, Because, you guys, you got to remember, mm. it doesn't apply only to live streaming or videos. It applies also to memes, to graphics, to GIFs, to any kind of things that you upload on social media in general, not just uh, things on YouTube, mm. uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you are, Snapchat, your personal blog. It applies all across the board. Uh, we're just talking a little bit more about YouTube because that's where we are and that's the creators we are uh, from as creators here making content uh, but definitely it applies for everyone using internet all across the board no matter what kind of uh, page they are using it uh, on so thank the, you so much Drive Shadro thank you in the end it's through an internet connection that's exactly what it is if it's through an internet connection you are opened up to all these laws that's exactly what it is if you're sharing it publicly through an internet connection no matter what the program it's across the board uh thank you Kath, uh good night as kathleen elliott or just our dream i'm not sure which one's taken off but uh either one guy no no i i hope you have a fantastic night uh no problem patches and puddles it is our pleasure sweeney todd 70 how are you it's great to see you as well hope you guys are all doing fantastic hello there nick welsh how are you doing tonight hope all is well we are talking guys about what is coming down the pipes it's just passed through the first line but it still has a uh, ways to go yet um the u.s equivalent of article 13 folks and then so far it's been a great discussion about it as well and that's what we always want to do guys that's when we do these nights like that we haven't done one lately and that's too bad because uh the, it, that's been a goal of Xenia and I is to try and cover as much of these things going on as possible when they come up because it is good to know and some people know where to look for them and it's not something that comes up in your normal news it was like when we first found out about the numbers being rolled out that was like the softest release from youtube ever and it was uh, there was one i found one you found that we just like looked at each other like how the hell did you even get that you know yeah. uh, it, it happened so it's great to discuss it with you guys as well that's we've always said our channel is about where all the other niches and channels come together to mingle but also to learn as well guys so uh let me see guys I th uh, let me hey there uh, unicorn puppet how are you doing good to see you good to see you hope welcome back welcome back hope you're having a fantastic Our mascot one. on fridays <laughs> 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 what a coincidence that was uh, uh we also have some uh, more questions walker fam asked what if you buy editing software is the music in the software free to use and we did uh, uh talk about that on our tech talk tuesday i think uh the previous time uh, you got to make sure that you can use the music uh, everywhere else because oftentimes it's not. It's not actually applicable to everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, the same as with Facebook, it used to be like you could use Facebook free music in YouTube videos and the other way around, you like YouTube library and Facebook, well, you can't do it anymore. And the same <coughs> with, this, um, with the music that is included into the software that you're using. You might be able, but you really have to uh, read that fine line and, and see what exactly it says in the agreement that you're signing upon downloading uh, the software. So not necessarily. Hey there, Supernatural Lost Adventures and Dorito the Lunch Carb. Good to see you. And Midwest Flesh UberX. Great to see all you guys in here. Pleasure to have you. We're having a great discussion here with an amazing group of people, guys. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, Carrie, we, I, we can't put numbers or goals in here. Um, in short, I know you're new. I just wanted to let you know because somebody, unfortunately, will time you out very soon. The rules are uh, no asking for subscribers, no sub for sub, no emojis or anything like that. Best thing to do is check out other channels. Tell me, like, hey, there are BNO doors. Just checked out your channel. 
love all the great wilderness stuff you got going on and i like the look of your channel i just subscribed there's 200 characters use them up and i'm sure people are going to want to check you out as well jackson rc says that's how congress rolls they always pass a bit late friday night so you forget by monday <laughs> and they've been keeping this one under wraps guys they have they've been keeping it very soft very soft they've been really working hard to just kind of have and that's the scary part with it and yes guys we all know there's going to be a modifications or to it there's always going to be if it does pass through that's always the way Willow Whimsy says, thank you for this information. I'll be watching to see what happens and contacting my senator. And that's exactly oh. what you can do if you Strange. are against, uh, um, and I think you can still hear me, if you are yes. against the bill, uh, you can uh, actually contact your uh, local senator. Uh, and I'm going to provide the link of the Electronic Frontier Foundation uh, where they actually provide you information how you can do that. Click on a link and check it out. And uh, you maybe can change its uh, course before it gets passed in the Senate. Maybe there are some changes made. Uh, so if you are against it, uh, check it out and contact your local senator. There we go, guys. Sorry, I just had to reset that. I don't know. Every now and then it's still a bit wonky. We're going to figure this out. Don't worry. Day life in nature. How are you? Always take time. Live stream. Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Infant wall. So what side of the law are you on? Will it hurt? Well... I'm all for protecting creators, like I said, we say. It's it's right in our business. We have no other choice but to stand behind the theory behind it, but the practice of it is really awful if it's going to go the way it is. Hopefully, by the time, if it does go through, they are going to clean up some of these odds and ends and make it sound a, a, a little bit more palatable for the common man because this is made to go after the common man. When we're talking memes and stuff like that, we're talking uh, Joe Blow sending a Facebook uh, post and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of times we talk here on creators, and I mean, as creators here on this platform, I do believe we should be better, uh, more knowledgeable than social media because I consider ourselves higher up than social media users. But this one here hits everybody, guys. I mean, I think of my parents, you know, if they were down there, like it's 75 years old. Wow. This would be a very hard law for them not to fall into a mess. I don't know how they could even really protect themselves was done. Eric Garcia, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Sure, we'll be all taxed on the air we breathe. Well, I think that's definitely coming. Sometime down the line, we all those have those oxygen masks in here. Uh, True North Angler, hello, how are you? Hollerbread Kennels is joining us as well. Welcome back here. Hello, talking about the new copyright law that is on the way to Senate in U.S. and might change the way you can claim your copyright infringement or maybe somebody can claim it on you. Uh, you're right uh, about this being aimed at the common man it opens the door for false claims knowing people don't have the resources to fight it well exactly that's exactly the point and, and uh, what are they going to do as a consequence are you know are they going to jail people who can't afford to pay now the fine like thirty thousand dollars where are you going to get it as a regular citizen you know that's the question like what are the consequences what are the results afterwards when this passes through and actually people are start to using it and you know, there's somebody, you know, Joe posting a meme that was copyrighted uh, without intent of infringement, just was sharing it out, passing it along, and now he has to pay $15,000 for it. Well, and then he can't pay that. What, what do we get? Do we get jail system involved in that? Like, you know, unless there's a whole big thing going on around that. Um, we need an old elderly and toddle, toddle. <laughs> Total close, close too. Yes, uh, we also asked. BioLife asked, uh, "Why is it all happening?" Uh, I think it's a good question in a way, although it was a very rhetoric question about why, how, and why uh, internet is changing in general. We have seen in the last year or two how um, different governments uh, have been trying to tighten the rope on internet. Uh, you know, when internet came out, um, so to say, <laughs> into the public. Um, site, uh, it became a little bit of wild west. You know, everybody was doing everything. It didn't matter what you were doing. Nobody could track you. You do what you want, kind of thing. No laws. Do whatever you want. But uh, as more and more people are starting to use it, also more and more people start to abuse the system. And as any kind of anarchy, it eventually uh, causes uh, wars. In this case, fights and arguments between the different institutions and public, regular public, and and the governments. And uh, it needs to be reined in. Uh, in my opinion, it needs to be reined in in in, in some way. But is is that the way to do it? Uh, well, that's that's a good question. 
Hello, Dan the Man TV. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. From the military, always trouble. It's a very um, uh, uh, litigious law. Yeah, <laughs> but law. we're not talking about Article 13, no. actually. We're talking about Article 13-like uh, or twin in U.S., so to say. Article 13 applies to EU. Uh, we're talking about the one that is just uh, passed through the House uh, in U.S., uh, but in a, a very similar manner, uh, kind of aimed at the people using copyright content. Mystic RPG, welcome by the way. Well, that uh, well with the hearings involving the social media corporations, it's clear our government officials have no clue about media. This is another example of that. That is very true in a lot of ways, and that is half the problem here, is that old guy mentality creeping into all this and and for them they're looking at everything completely utterly as brick and mortar and that's very hard to do when you get into ideals and that's what i'm worried too that's what's making this as gray as it is that is part of the fear so it's a very good point on that one infinite moi maybe it's not about creators maybe it's from government control over media uh, no, the, this actually is aimed at the regular citizen, uh, as uh, in opposite to Article 13, when it was mostly aimed at institutions, and then they would kind of pass along uh, the results of that law to us. Uh, this actually is, first and foremost, um, aimed at the regular user, uh, just like you and I here, um, or even the ones who don't have cr any content, like even, even if you want to go there, like, I don't know, your sister or your cousin, <laughs> anybody using internet that's what it is aimed for as it is for as of now um uh, free to laugh now uh <laughs> none of my property is intellectual ellie family hello how are you dorito in the lunch caber asked will we be able to use a song and just not monetize it i gotta i gotta address this guys right off the bat monetization has nothing to do with hitting a copyright strike and that is a misconception out there i appreciate the question and so i'm going to run with that because we get that asked a lot and people say oh i don't care i'm just not going to monetize it that has nothing to do with it whatsoever you could have a channel on the first day put up your first video with acdc thunderstruck or whatever i'm just picking a song on my head and bam oh you're hit with a copyright strike so understand that please Money has nothing to do with whether it's okay or not to use copyright material. That is very, very important to remember. Yeah, exactly. So now some of the songs, if you do do the research, you might be able to use when you're not monetized, but that's a very little percentage. It's tiny. It's, it's it, so tiny. Usually, like Andrew said, it, people are just applying in such a wrong way. Well, I'm not monetized. I can use whatever you, I want. No, 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 no. Oh. You can still get strike even if you just have one <laughs> video that, and one subscriber. <laughs> I just realized I still had that on. So. Even with one subscriber and one video, you know, and no views, you can get a copyright strike if you use a copyright content and you're not monetized. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, don't uh, get under the legendary uh, myth, uh, one, of, one of them, one of them. But uh, thank you for the question because it's good to get it mm -hmm. out there. It's good you guys ask the question. Don't pull, hold them back. Uh, we want to clear them out if, uh, if we can. <laughs> my life if i go to court y'all coming with me <laughs> to read on the lunch card thanks for students you rock no thank you guys for that we really do appreciate talking about this guys it's important to everybody and you have let me say too guys it is heartwarming for both of us you gotta understand that we try to grab subjects like this and this is what really shows that people like networking but they also want to grow their channel this is what separates them all guys and it's great to have you all in here tonight participating, great questions, talking between each other about it and that. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, Tamara, I'm in the hospital, but I'm with you guys. Well, thank you so much and hope you get better really soon. Sending much love to you. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Posting disclaimers is not excuse an offense either. Yes, I said that a while. Free to laugh now. Exactly. And I can repeat that once again, guys. Anybody who, and I see it all the time, under article section 176, blah, 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 you're not allowed to use copyright material. If it's copyright, they don't give you permission. It doesn't matter who you thank, who you list, unless you have written explicit con uh, consent from the owner of the media, you cannot use it under any circumstances, and none of that will help you whatsoever. Yeti Mountain Trading, how are you, my friend? Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, Backwoods uh, Billy Craft Beer Reviews, always great to see my friend as well. Hope you're doing fantastic. Is there a difference between copyright claim and copyright strike? This, our dream says, fantastic question. There sure is. 
copyright claim they basically say listen we're gonna let you use it but we're gonna get the money off of it and yes some of them will even say if you do a cover they're open up to profit sharing most likely unless you're a gigantic channel they're not going to agree to it they're just going to take all the money so you make a decision if you're doing that or not copyright strike is when you're not allowed to use it and you get hit with it you copy it and it's not limited just to music guys music comes up all the time any kind of intellectual property can be hit with a copyright strike and that falls to tags people folks and everything everything be very very careful what you do on here very careful what you do on here uh, written consent through email or snail mail it's got to be there and signed it can be fax if oh my god now we're like you can be emailed to you with a signature and all that stuff is all fine but you got to have pure written proof that they have given you it can't just be some email with no name no signature underneath it or anything like that in some states as far as i know facebook messages uh comply with it too and are valid but in I'm some it's not that. yeah in I'm some it's not that. so it's 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 better if it's email it's just more foolproof i wasn't sure to bring that one up or not then no, good you did good you did in the end yeah i just still i feel if you still go with the strictest i always try to go with the strictest law possible because if you conform to that you cover yourself everywhere that's the good thing about it so i actually got copyright sharing with my covers that is awesome nikki it does happen it is not common but good for you that is absolutely awesome congratulations to you some are more willing than others um Really, nobody's going to get rich off it, but you know, it's it's nice when they do it. It it's, it shows a little more support to the artist. So, mm. Supernatural Lost Adventure said, "I got a copyright claim on other channel, but got scared and just deleted the whole video." Well, with the copyright claims, you can do whatever you want. You can also mute just the part of the song with a new editor. But I just want to reiterate: if you get a strike, don't delete the video uh, mm -mm. because that is your only way how you can appeal it. Uh, you actually sh must not delete a video that you have a strike on. It is in the rules of YouTube. Do not delete a video that has a strike on. Kim Rikis says, what if you received a claim but not a strike? That's exactly what we were just talking about. Then they have the right to take the profits off of the music that's generated. So any ad revenue generated on that video will go to the creator, not to yourself. Why do I not like using stuff even when they say it's okay? Because like I was talking about a while ago, it's okay to share it. And then tomorrow, another corporation buys a catalog. When they buy a catalog, guys, they'll go to somebody that has, and they'll say, okay, we're going to take 30,000 off you. And that's 30,000 songs in album. It could be one album here, one album there. It doesn't mean they own the whole band. <coughs> and sometimes people phone that as well. Oh, well, I've used such and such a band. They're always ready to share. No, they might not own all their albums. And four out of their eight might not be allowed to share because they're owned by another copyright holder, not themselves. But what I was getting at is what happens, okay, I'm just going to, another song, uh, uh, what's her name that you, uh, uh, Pink, one of her songs, Say She Loves to Share It. Oh, she's good with it, that's fine with it, she gets the profits, I don't care, until tomorrow she gets hard up for money or gets a fantastic offer and sells off her catalog and the next one decides they don't want it shared on here. And that does happen a lot, guys. And it's happened to people that shared something from three years ago. They made a video because it was okay. Then the, 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 the rights got sold. And then all of a sudden they get up one morning and bang, oh, you got a strike. And you don't know why. Well, that's why. It changed ownership. And the new owners do not want it shared on here anymore. It happens. Uh, gangster hobby. Please don't write that though, please. And yes, uh, uh, infantry adores. Of course, you can have uh, that they offer you to share the profits. And sometimes they take all of the profits. And, uh, it depends. And uh, once again, if it's a claim, it's no big deal. If you still want money for that video, you know, you can always dispute it or just remove it with a new editor. So that's nothing really to be worried about mm. at all. Uh, that's why there's a difference between the strike and a claim, as Andrew was saying. But we did get uh, somebody asked me that, uh, and I seen it in a video too. With these new laws, it covers you a lot, guys. Say you're walking through a fair. You know you walk by booth to booth and say something is playing, uh, once again, Pink is playing. You walk by, you get a bit of music. That was unintentional. It's in the background. You can make it out. The algorithm is very sensitive here. Because remember, guys, the algorithm matches the songs up like a thumbprint. I forget the name of the app on uh, iPhone, but uh, Shazam on uh, Samsung. You know when you're standing in an elevator, you hear a song you like, but you can't remember because it's 25 years old, you hit the button, and within three seconds it tells you what it is? That's the exact same technology matching up that music as you're doing here. 
It's there to protect you from that. But you can't go to a pink concert and hold the phone up for a full song and expect that to be let go as accidental use in that. It's not going to work. It's not made for that. This was only to protect you. Or if somebody passes at a car, uh, you know, you're stopped at a stoplight and you're filming and a car pulls up beside you with some uh, copyright music. It's made to protect you for those things. It's not made for you to go and catch a full concert, catch a band live, or play a song holding it up in front of your computer and expect to get away with it. It's not there for that. You're going to get hit. So remember that. It's actually a very good law the way they did it in. We're lucky to have it because that was a problem for a long time. You have really great footage and unfortunately, some jackass would pass you and right in the middle of it, blaring something and, and screw up your whole video and you end up with a strike or you wouldn't put it up. So just remember that guys, it's not the holy grail for you to be able to go and use copyright material. It's there to protect you for accidental limited time use. Same as if they're playing as well inside a tent. You can't hold it just at the doorway of the tent the whole time and say, oh, well, I, you know, I just happen to be standing there. No, you are more than fine to move away. Um, so just be very careful with it. I mean, it's your choice in the end. It's your channel. Just re remember, guys, that's what, the, that's what the guidelines are there for, and they're getting clearer. So you have to congratulate them on that for doing that. So, you know. Like YouTube says, don't look for a loophole. I've always, I've said that for so long. Anything that goes on here, stand as far outside the gray as possible. The moment you walk in the gray, you're opening yourself up for the chance of trouble. And I'll always have somebody here who'll say, oh, well, I've used this song for five years and never got caught. Well, I see a guy passing every second day on this street that never slows down. But one day the cops will be out there and then he's going to get a ticket. But till then, it's only a law when they, op when they apply it. People do get through. It does happen. But it sucks. Especially if you ever have a video and you know, and some channels say, oh, I don't care. I'm small. I don't care. What if you get big? Every big channel started off small. They didn't walk in here and get a million subscribers to take off. What if you do get big? What if that video takes off and that's where you're getting all your momentum and then it happens? I just don't find it's worth the chance. I just don't find it's worth the, the, the gamble. Uh, Scrap Jockey in the house. How are you? Great to see you. I hope you're doing fantastic. Great to see all you guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic time discussing all this and that. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome. You really are, folks. You always make it a pleasure to talk about these topics and that. Everybody bringing up such good points and respectful each other in the chat and discussing it together. Honestly, I always say you guys make us look good. We always say that. And once again, proof in the pudding tonight. So uh, thank you very much, Philip. I do appreciate it. Once again, it's good to hear from you. Like I said, I was starting to worry a little. I was starting to worry. Jason Clamers, how are you? Great to see you. And Bears and Butters in the house. Hope you're doing fantastic. Texas Lottery Fund. Look at all these great people in here, folks. It is such a pleasure hanging out with you guys. Um, do we have any other questions? Hon? Yeah, BioLife is asking, are movie studios and companies more lenient with their movies? Well, it really depends on, on a movie company, but I, I wouldn't yeah. take a chance on that. Yeah. Uh, although, on the other hand, and we had a little tiny discussion with Swiss Mystic RPG is about taking chances. And uh, sometimes you have to take chances, and sometimes you can. But the most important thing is, in, in this particular instance, and in, in any rules that we are guys trying to explain to you, uh, the camera is off again, uh, is that we, um, uh, you have to know the consequences. The whole yep. goal of us, uh, uh, again, oh, really? uh, the whole goal here of, of us informing you is to know the consequences. So as long as you know that it's possible that you can get a strike or a fine or whatever it is, uh, and if you realize that, uh, then you have a, that conscious de decision of moving forward with your choice. Uh, so yes, try to make my risks calculated, Mr. RPG. Yes, exactly. And then, then you're prepared, you know, uh, is, is, is about the choice, the conscious choice, exactly, calculated risks. Uh, I see all these movie clips all over YouTube. Yeah, I know. And it is, uh, you know, it is discouraging sometimes to see that some of these things are getting used uh, by a lot of YouTubers and some of them have hundreds of thousands of views. Now, you're going to remember, though, too, that lots of these bigger YouTubers have their MCAs, uh, meaning the companies that actually uh, present them, represent them in the court of law, or if there's any dispute with YouTube itself, it's not actually them writing to their rep, it's actually their either their uh, people or the MCA. 
that represents them so it's much easier for the bigger um, youtubers to get through with that uh, there was a couple questions about the copyright in the background I did share the link to our uh, explanation of the new copyright law system on YouTube uh, so if you are a vlogger and you do have your copyright uh, background music uh, you might not be actually at risk. Uh, that's a new copyright guidelines that were in place now for a couple months. So if you're not aware, uh, I'll put that uh, in the description as well. We talked about that. Uh, so that's something that YouTube made easier for us. Sorry about that, guys. We're having a little bit of a heating issue tonight. I don't know, quite know what's going on. I wish I could tell you, but I'm not sure, folks. I'm not sure. We haven't had trouble in a couple of days now tonight. I think it's because that's not running. Most likely, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I think I read about partial fix for it, so I have to find time to work on that. <laughs> There's never enough time to do everything, guys, but we are having a little bit of growing pains right now, but I think uh, you're too hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're too hot. Um, um, more, more questions here from uh, Infantry Outdoors. Uh, is it safe to use audio library? The audio library, I'm assuming you mean from YouTube? Uh, most definitely, but it can only be used within YouTube. You can't use it on other platforms. If you use it, it has to be only on video YouTube. You can't take it to Facebook and other ones. That's the only thing you're locked in. So, But on here, go to it. Uh, go to it. And there is some good music on it, guys. You got to dig a bit more. I think it's a bit like a thrift store. You know, you got to kind of thumb through a little bit more. There is some decent stuff on there. There really is. So. Backwards Bill Craft Beer <laughs> Reviews. Uh, we're not actually talking about particularly Filmora. We're talking about generally about software. Uh, I'm not, uh, we're not familiar in all softwares that are out there and the use of the music that are included. If you say that Fil Filmora 9 has its free copyright permission, uh, it's up to you. You've got to double and triple check. Uh, all we are saying that some software has the music included, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can use that music on certain social media platforms. Same as some pay sites, guys, and you're onto it and everything is going good till you stop paying for it. Then all of a sudden you start getting bombarded with copyright strikes. Make sure to always read the fine print on everything. I know it's a lot and it's boring and t just pace yourself. If it takes you an hour, you got to take breaks between and do it but read it so you know where you stand, really do, because a lot of people have gotten caught that way. That is even, as we were saying before, just because you do a claim that it is not mm. your, it, I don't own the music, uh, I don't intend to infringe copyright. Links, anything like that. First of all, it has nothing to do with this law, but second of all, it, it, it has nothing to do with YouTube guidelines either. Like, it doesn't matter, you put it or you don't put it there. It's, it doesn't uh, free you of using Actually, using it. if you go through for a claim and you go under that part and you say, well, I've used it, if you ever get hit like with a copyright sharing, you pick one of those options, I've given credit it to the author blah 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 it will tell you right there that that does not it's not relevant to the case and won't be accepted as an argument it literally tells you straight there, yeah because lots of people think that they can do it and then they're okay to use it when they don't that's like that law and i forget you know tell me whatever it is article one three that people are claiming and stuff like that i mean it never had any validity to it and i feel bad because i hear people in live streams telling people to do some of these things and it's like no 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 don't tell them <laughs> that's like uh, the famous thing with me telling people to write that you subscribed. If you take 200 characters, you write you subscribed at the end. Uh, hey there, Kimber Kiss. Just checked out your channel. You have such a great energy and absolutely love what you're doing here. Keep up the great work. I subscribed. Well, that's great. And people are like, okay. And they even say about our channel. They're a great channel. Go check them out. Just don't use the S word in there because they get really angry. No, we just please don't write sub, 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 sub. It's a, it's a context thing. But I do hear that a lot and people say, like, okay, guys, I don't want to get our channel in trouble, so we're going to sub for sub like crazy. It's going to fly off the roof, but everybody say platypus. Platypus will keep us safe. No, it won't. It won't. I guarantee it won't. The algorithm's quite aware of what's going on. It's not that easy to fool. So always make sure you're versed in what you do in here. Take time, and honestly, we're honored when you guys even hear what we talk about, and you go look it up after because you're you're adding that much more knowledge to you. You're making yourself that much more better of a YouTuber. You're verifying what's heard. It's helping you. Anything you hear anywhere, go and look it up. Read about it more on your own. It is so important. It is really, really important, guys. In the end, if you get hit with a strike or whatever happens or lose your channel, or in this case, if this all happens... God help you, it's on you. 
So you're better to be well versed into it as much as possible. You have to be responsible for you in the end. And like I say, we're not insulted because we sometimes get people like, "Oh, I went and read up more on this afternoon." That is fantastic. That's smart. <laughs> Hats off to you, and we cheer you on for it. We hope all the time we do this, we can't cover everything. There's a lot here, as you can see with many of these things. There's a lot. We, we're not going to sit here and read every uh, part of this article. It, it'll take forever. We're here to plant a seed so you guys go and find your, you know, your understanding of it. Like anything else we do in here, it is really important, so... Uh, never offended by that in any shape or form. We actually salute you when you do it. So, uh, do we have other questions on? Yeah, I just wanted to reiterate again. It's not about the third party suing you in this new court if it comes into action. No. It's about the person who claims to own the rights to the material that can possibly sue you in this new court. So it's between the two parties: the one who created it and then one who possibly used it. Uh, so it's not like somebody sees it and can can claim it. So uh, it, it's a little bit different. And also it's different between the YouTube copyright guidelines and, and the law. Uh, so we have to kind of try to separate it on, and, and understand it at different levels, and different tiers of understanding of copyright. Um, F4Tastic, you'll have to uh, wind it back a little bit, rewind it. We did talk about uh, a new copyright a law that has passed the House, but yet to, to be passed in Senate, uh, where if approved, uh, the uh, regular folk uh, on YouTube uh, can actually be uh, fined with up to $30,000 fine in US. Uh, it's not the law yet, so don't get panicked, but we just wanted to, uh, you guys to know why, because there is still time for you uh, to uh, get in touch with your uh, local senator and uh, uh, maybe turn it around and if enough people do it, if you think that it is, it is something that shouldn't be passed, if enough people do it, maybe they will change it or reverse it. Now, you got to remember that on Article 13, that took a long time for it to come into place. A long, long time. And still, it's actually not in action. So this definitely is not going to take a week or two or three. It's going to be longer than that. We're just at the beginning of this journey. But it's good to be aware of these things because they definitely try to shuffle it under the scraps and uh, not <laughs> make it more invisible, so to say. Uh, some uh, so question here was uh, from um, Infinite Moa, as long as we change the original content by 30% or if done as a parody, that's normally okay. Will that be affected? Even if you do a parody, you still can't use a copyright nope. um, uh, content. Uh, you can transform it in a parodical way uh, that is not offensive, uh, harassment, or abusing uh, the creator of the content that you're using. But you still can't use it one to one, even if it's in a uh, how is it called Paro parody way. Parody, parody way. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to give you something here. There's a you know there's some idiots that like to play with the parody stuff and go too far. The really bright ones, and we're going to look back at somebody that I really liked. Uh, two channels I really liked: H3H3 Podcast and uh, iDubs. There's a reason why they're not doing them anymore. There's a reason why H3H3 Podcast has become H3H3 Podcast. And there's a reason why iDubs has backed away from all that stuff. Because they were smart enough to see the writing on the wall. If anybody remembers or knows H3H3, they went through a huge lawsuit and they actually won. They won. But just because you won doesn't mean you're going to win the war. They just won the battle. They seen the writing on the wall. And that's why they got out of it for seeing where that was going to lead to. It has gotten grayer. They know what was coming. They knew their channel was going to go down the tubes. It's not that they didn't want to do it anymore. It's just not worth it anymore. That's why. And uh, what's the name of the guy there that's doing all the big exposés now? Uh, Sean Dawson. Sean Dawson. <laughs> that's a whole different kettle of fish. That's And that even is going to be maybe walking more of a gray line once this law comes through. But that's a whole documentary side on it based on somebody. But the parody thing was wearing thin. It was pushing too many boundaries and taking in too much into copyright. And like I said, H3H3 won their battle and I liked them. But they also seen where the writing was going. Hence why they're a podcast channel today primarily for that simple reason. They were, they were smart business people and seeing that there was the future was getting very bleak into it. YouTube was going to be cracking down more and more, and laws like this would probably be prevailing at some point. So it just wasn't uh, 
Uh, good to play more. Uh, Hetty MC, how are you? Big hugs from Vancouver. Big hugs to you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Great to have you in here. Love your city. Love your city. Now, with regards to the other part of the question, about 30%, as I mentioned before, your majority of your content has to be, and that's according to YouTube now. So we, again, let's distinguish the law by state and the YouTube guidelines. It's two different things for now. Uh, as of guidelines, you have to have majority of your content be original uh, in order for it not to fall under some kind of uh, guideline uh, violation. So it's not 30%, it's more like three quarters at least. It has to be transformed in a way that is your own creative content. And that's why lots of the channels and videos that is basically just uh, reading off the scripts or uh, you know, automated voices and things like that of the things that already been created by somebody else are actually taken down because with new guidelines, it's actually against the guidelines. You can't have that. Uh, you can't use somebody else's content and just basically read it off and, and that's all of your video. You have to put your own creative spin to it if you're using it. So uh, Tasha was saying, what do you think will happen to reaction videos when someone uses another's content to react to them and post on their channel? And Andrew kind of in part answered that already, but um, basically they're going to fade away unless you get uh, the explicit, uh, you know, agreement from the content creator that you can use their footage. You can still react to them, just don't use the footage. It's getting harder and harder, guys, and that's what they're trying to do. They want it to be harder and harder. That's exactly what they're going for. They want it so people either A, say it's not worth it, <laughs> or be big enough with some lawyers and want to go through the fight of it. And that's going to pretty much, if it goes the way it's working its way towards, that's where it's going to go. I mean, even if, say, like they argue it down, they get it down from 15 to 10, from 30000 to $10,000 maximum penalties. Let's drop it away down even to there. Okay, that's great. They're down from 30000 to 10000 How many YouTubers actually have the money to pay a $10,000 fine. How many YouTubers make enough money off a of video to make it worthwhile to pay a $10,000 fine when it's said and done? You know, that's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to, that it's just not feasible to do it. It sounds like they're aiming <coughs> at reaction videos. It's not only videos, guys. It's anything on YouTube and other creator media like Twitter, yep. Facebook, Instagram, wherever blogs, articles. It doesn't matter. We're only talking specifically about YouTube a little bit more, but have it you, is anything. Have you sent your friend a crazy meme in the last month on Facebook or anything like Did that? Did you create it? No. You well, fall into that category. Mm -hmm. I want to welcome Britain Fam as well. Great to see you guys. Hope you're doing fantastic. What another great looking channel. And once again, the law has not passed. And even if it does pass, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get dragged into it. It depends on the creator of said meme or graphic or whatever you're using up to them if they would be claiming you as a copyright infringement or not. And that's what worries me sometimes about this thing. If it was to go through, how easy is it for somebody to set it up for you to fall into this mess? that they make memes, spread them out with the purpose of later going back after people for it. It, it's, it sounds like a great trap and sometimes. Uh, time to play TV, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad you can make it as well. Fantastic to see you. So many great channels in here guys. A mixture as always of new and returning. It's great to have you all in folks. We are discussing our, uh, the article 13 on its way to the US. We went with article 13 because most people are familiar with that name right now but a version of it coming into the US. Uh, we have a lot of people in here, so I'm just gonna read the summary once more, okay? Yeah, Raven the Blackbird, hello as Welcome. well. Welcome. Traveling Shintoist. Uh, you can prove actually that you made something yourself. You have a timestamp on any document that you're creating, any paper, anything, that picture that you're creating in properties, you actually can track it when it was created. That's right, guys. There's always the add ID onto it. There's all kinds of third-party programs that do so for trying that. It, it is quite trackable. It's not as uh, as uh, into the realm once it takes off on YouTube as you think if people set it up especially properly. We're not going to read this word for word, guys. This is it. This is, I'm going to read you the summary we have here. The copyright alternative in... Uh, sorry, I'm looking at this right, once again. I did it the first time, now I'm doing it again. The Copyright Alternative in Small Claims Enforcement Act, or the CASE Act for short, was approved by 410-6 vote. It currently awaits a vote on the Senate floor. If this measure were to become law, the Copyright Office were, uh, were to become law, uh, sorry, were to become law, 
The Copyright Office would house a tribunal of copyright claim officers who would work with both parties involved in a lawsuit to resolve infringement claims, basically creating small claims court, a board where online content creators can go after their infringers. The board would decide that the, decide that the subjects of those claims owe up to $30,000 for activities as common as uploaded, downloaded, or shared memes, images, and videos online. Even if the actual harm from the copying is nil, an outline, as outlined in the bill, damages would be capped at $15,000 for each infringed work and top at $30,000 total. The limits imposed by the Case Act of 15000 per work are far, far higher than the damage caps in most uh, state small claims courts and they don't require any proof of harm or illicit profit. Today, someone who is going to sue a person for copyright infringement has to register their work with the Copyright Office before the infringement began or within three months of the first publication in order to be entitled to statutory damages. Within a time, without a timely registration, violating someone's copyright would only put an infringement infringer on the hook for what the violation actually costs the copyright holder, called actual damages, or the infringer's profits. Timely registration requirement will no longer be a requirement for proof, for, uh, no, uh, for no proof statutory damages. The international advocacy and civil rights groups like the Electronic Frontier Foundation, the EEF, and the American Civil Liberties Union have uh, warned that a system like this one proposed by the CASE Act could cost the average internet user thousands for simply sharing a meme or lead to encroachments on their First Amendment rights. So there you go, guys. There's kind of a synopsis of the whole thing. Uh, it has not gone through yet. It has gone through the first pass, but there's still another one to go plus the okay of the president. But in the meantime, yes, it most likely will be bargained down, hopefully in some shape or form. But it's definitely in its way, and they're starting high. And once again, like I say, you know, we could sit there and say it's going to be cut down a lot. And what if it's cut down to the cap from 30000 to 10000 It's still $10,000. And most YouTubers here, including ourselves, I we would never make anything that would take the chance in infringing and get into a $10,000 mess. But what about my mother? She's a we're Canadian, of course, but if we're living in the States, and she's sending out a meme to one of her friends on Facebook. I mean, she could fall into this just as easy as anybody else. That's the sad part about this. It, 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 it's total anarchy in one way in the law of that state. And once again, my biggest fear is this will become a field day for people that are shady to create stuff put it out there on YouTube, get it circulating, only to go back three months later and start attacking a bunch of uh, people, threatening litigation, and most likely will say stuff like, oh, well, give me a thousand bucks, we'll call it a day. That's what I see is gonna happen. But they've also had worry from out of country interference in US, uh, uh, meddling in US uh, politics and everything else, and that there's all kinds of ways that can stem into it as well, as this extortion that's been done on here with copyright claims on music that they don't own the rights to, the same thing could happen there as well. The uh, question was why this law was uh, needed. Well, uh, if this passes, uh, it actually is already on motion to suspend the rules and pass the bill. So if it comes into place, the old rules go away and the new ones came into place. And mm -hmm. why? Because they actually claim it is to protect content creators uh, so they can go after their infringers. Yep. <laughs> you would never guess that, but nope. they're actually creating this to protect content. I mean, in the theory of it, it all sounds warm and fuzzy, but most laws do until you start digging into it. And us, for, as we say, video and photography, we hold highly the right to protect one's intellectual property. But this goes way past this. Th this is just a free for all, and I mean, it's I, I don't know. I don't even know. I, I would. I don't live in the states. I'd hate to use the term unconstitutional. But I, I, it almost is. <laughs> it really is. I mean, it's just. Oh, you thought the you, you thought the internet was a wild west. Now, wait till something like that if it does go through. Then we're going to see a wild west in its truest form. Because you do need protection for creators, guys. And there's got to be better laws put down. Because on the other side too, it's just been absolutely ridiculous. 
There is people ripped off left, right, and center, and in between. But this law is not the way to do it. I mean, it's got to specify more into the creative side of it with actual establishment or it's the Wild West. What else can you call it? That's exactly what it's going to be like. It's in. The Benefield Bunch says they will have to register their video with the Copyright Office. It is very expensive to do this. I doubt the average YouTuber is going to be able to afford to register each mm -hmm. video. Actually, they won't. With the new law, as I was uh, explaining before, if the law passes the way it is, uh, you actually won't have to do that. Uh, the three months prior registration, publication, and all of that, you will be able to ask for these uh, damages, uh, not all actual, but infringement, statutory damages, uh, just for the creation of it. So you won't have to have it registered. Uh, the fact, the mere fact of creating, posting it, is what would prove it, basically. Uh, as I said, it would, uh, if the law would pass, it would disregard all the previous laws, and the new one, this one, would go in place. Because to protect content creators, guys, I was just thinking this is a channel that we watch, uh, Tony and Chelsea, and they're well-established vid uh, photographer, videography, especially photography, and somebody, one of their fans sent them a picture from Australia, it was, right? Yep. And there was an iPhone box made and uh, a, protection, a protector case for an iPhone, and a photo of Chelsea was on it. And not only just one of their photos, but the one that they use on the cover of their book. And this is not a small channel. They're not some obscure little thing. I think they're what, a uh, million. They're up to 1.35 million. There you go. At the time, they were under a million. Yeah, but still, they were a big enough channel. They weren't like 20,000 or anything like that. No. And it was used, and it took them a long time. What, uh, three years? Yep. And they had to spend a ton of money from it. They had to hire lawyers in Australia and go through the whole run and that, and they admitted with the money they made, but it was not like they made a killing off of that. And they had even asked them to just take back the boxes, take off the pictures, give them a little bit for damages and call it a day, and they couldn't even get that. In the end, they had to go through the whole court proceedings. <coughs> so there is something to be said for people protecting their intellectual property. The problem is, is when it's taken too far, and I'm sure even them do not want to see this happen, even though they've been through this and they need to be protected. They also don't want it to go completely over the top. And it's always like that with laws, it seems like. You know, everything starts off with good intentions and then goes way too far. And we see that with most laws today and most movements, and especially this day, day and age more than ever. It's almost like we lose all perception and just go to the furthest extreme possible. And I forget who said it a while ago, I'm sorry, but about getting social media uh, companies in to advise them because it shows how little they know. I agree. And unfortunately, when you work in the government, no matter where it is, pretty much in the world, you're handed a portfolio. It does not mean that you studied that your whole life. It doesn't mean that you're well versed into it. A lot of times it's actually the complete opposite and it's a crash course and they're just relying on a couple of uh, um, interns to walk them through on something like this because they know 10 times more than the person that's in charge of the, 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 this ministry. So it's definitely the Wild West. It's uh, very scary. It's a road that I hope they don't go down. I mean, don't worry, don't forget. Like I say, you're our, uh, the United States is our biggest market by far for our show. So it does, we care about you guys lots, we're affected by you guys, but also as Canadians, we always have an expression here, you guys sneeze in the States, we catch the cold in Canada. And we worry about that too, for up here, will it also come up this way? So, thank you so much, Infant Law, for the dollar, do appreciate it, thank you so very much. Really, really do appreciate it. How is everyone, I'm Canadian, Casper to y'all, how are you? Welcome, 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 a fellow Canuck, a fellow Canuck, that's right. The Artist Devil, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you, it's been a while. Hope all is great with you. I don't know, I think we've pretty much covered it. Is there anything else you want to add before we go? Um, no, I think we're pretty much covered. There's something to think about. I will include the link uh, to the full uh, document that is being passed into the Senate. Uh, no, not yet approved uh, in the description down below after it's getting uploaded as well as the our video about copyright guidelines uh, that we talked about a long time about YouTube. Remember, it's two separate things. Uh, so let's keep it separate and try to understand both sides of it. 
Thank you so much. If you can pass the yes. word along, uh, please do. It is very important, especially if you are in U.S. It is uh, going to affect everybody. Your grandmother that is using the internet, uh, your toddler mm -hmm. uh, that you are responsible for, <laughs> uh, it's going to affect everyone, not just content creators, if it's going to get passed. Yep. We're getting there, Artist Del. We're getting ready for Halloween. We're getting ready for Halloween. Thank you so much, Patches and Potholes. Phil Cockram, uh, BNO. Congratulations once again to BNO on his one year on YouTube today, my friend. One year on YouTube, and he is getting closer to 6K. How amazing is that? Uh, Supernatural Lost Adventures, Corbin Comedy Connection. Paul Peck Outdoors, good evening to you. We're just on our way out, but it's nice to see you. I hope you're doing fantastic. And oh, Thanks, Chris. Thank and you, right man. back at you, too. Right back at you as well, my friend. Congratulations on your one year. Tomorrow we're going to be back with our Tuesday Tech Talk at 7 p.m. Eastern, as always, with all your questions. So if you have any more questions about copyright or anything else about social media and YouTube, let us know uh, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's right, guys. Take care and thank you so much. And uh, have a great day, folks. See you later.